Hi there. Uh, this is Robin Norgren, and I'm your host of Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. You're turning into tuning into a series on prayer. And sometimes I know that I think, is my prayer even enough? And is it making a difference? And I've struggled with this throughout the years. Here's what I do know. The Bible does tell us to pray. Prayer is what's called one of the weapons of our warfare. What that means is we do not just fight with words and with actions, but we call down action from above. And so it doesn't matter if I feel like it works. It's just like someone in training and it doesn't look like anything's happening. It's not up to me to decide whether or not something's happening. I am only called to pray. So when that gets settled, you're still left with, well, what do I pray about? I feel like I'm saying the same words over and over again. And that's why I like to go to the Bible. Because the reality is, we don't know all of the circumstances in any situation. I'm faced with something today that's really heavy. And even as a mother, you just don't know everything. You see these little children and... Even, even then, as a teacher, I can tell you, you don't know everything because their minds are also processing things that they don't articulate and they don't even understand, but it's causing changes that you'll see later. So that's why you have to get into the practice of praying. All right, let's start with day three. First Samuel twelve twenty to twenty one. Lord, may I not turn aside from following you, but serve you with all my heart. May I not turn aside to go after worthless things which do not profit or deliver me, because they are worthless. Matthew seven seven through eight. When I ask, it will be given to me. When I seek, I will find. When I knock, the door will be open to me. For everyone who asks receives. Everyone who seeks finds. And everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Numbers twenty three nineteen. You are not a man that you should lie, nor a son of man that you should change your mind. Have you spoken and not done it? Have you promised and not fulfilled it? Psalm 77, 11 through 15. I will remember your works, O Lord. Surely I will make your wonders of long, remember your wonders of long ago. I will meditate on all your works and consider all your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. What God is so great as you? You are the God who works wonders. You have revealed your strength among the peoples. You redeemed your people with your power, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. Psalm 95, 1 and 2. O come, let us sing to you, Lord. Let us shout joyfully to you the rock of our salvation. Let us become before your presence. Let us come before your presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout for joy to you with psalms. Psalm 96, 1 through 3. I sing to you a new song. Let all the earth sing to you. We sing to you, Lord, and bless your name. 
we proclaim the good news of your salvation day after day. We declare your glory among the nations, your marvelous works among all people. So we go into the posture of prayer. Remember, it's not about how you're sitting or how your hands are folded or whether your eyes are opened or closed. It's about your heart being open to not only receive the comfort and the peace from, from God, but also to hear you in the midst of the prayer and change. Lord Most High, you are awesome. You are the great King of all the earth. God, you reign above the nations. You sit on your holy throne. Lord, display your holiness through those who come near you. Display your glory before all the people. I have heard all about you, Lord. Fill me with awe by your amazing works. In this time of our deep need, help us again as you did in years gone by. In your anger, remember your mercy. Help me to want to worship you, Lord, with all of my heart. Help me to never want to turn my back on you. Help me to remember to never go back to worshiping worthless idols that cannot help or rescue me. They are totally useless. I keep on asking. I will receive what I ask for. I will keep on seeking, and I will find. I will keep on knocking, and the door will be open to me. For everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Thank you, God, that you are not a man, so you do not lie. You are not human, so you, God, do not change your mind. Have you ever spoken, Lord, and failed to act? No. Have you, God, ever promised and not carried it through? No. When I recall all you have done, O Lord, I will remember your wonderful deeds of long ago. They are constantly in my thoughts. I cannot stop thinking about your mighty works. O oh God, your ways are holy. Is there any God as mighty as you? You are the God of great wonders. You demonstrate your awesome power among the nations. By your strong arm, you redeemed your people. Come, I will sing to you, Lord. I will shout joyfully to the rock of my salvation. I will come to you with thanksgiving. I will sing songs of praise to you. I will sing a new song to you, Lord. Let the whole earth sing to you, Lord. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Each day proclaim the good news that he saves. Publish his glorious deeds among the nations. Tell everyone about the amazing things that you do, God. O oh Lord, I have an enemy, and that enemy is saying, God will never rescue you. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me. You are my glory, the one who holds my head high. When I cry out to you, Lord, God, you answer me from your holy mountain. I lay down in sleep, yet I wake up in safety, for the Lord is watching over me. I am not afraid of 10,000 enemies who surround on every side. Arise, O Lord, rescue me, my God. Slap the enemy in the face, shatter the teeth of the wicked. Victory comes from you, O Lord. May you bless your people.